Pressure comes, and not only are they not going to get 11 yards, they're going to go backwards. Jake Hansen getting in there. Him to get in the rhythm early, short, quick passes. Yeah, Bush started that game against Wisconsin, was only out there four drives, and there's a big hole for Reggie Corbin. Up on the second down, looking for a little smoother operation on the second attempt. Dave Illinois, great field position, but that Maryland defense did hold him to three points. And Javon Leak with his second return of the game. And he's got a little space and some speed. All the way down the sideline, Javon Leak is going to go to the end zone for a 97-yard return. Corbin gets the call. Trying to reverse fields. We saw him do that last week for the 80-yard touchdown we mentioned. And this time he gets it across the 30 before he's draped out by Antoine Brooks. Our friends at the Nevermore haunt for allowing the cameras in there last night. Anthony McFarland, his first carry, he had the penalty pregame and nowhere to go as he's tackled back at the five-yard line. And with a sack earlier, his first sack of the season. Third and ten, another bad spot for a running team, but they're going to throw it deep, and it's hauled in by Tavon Jacobs. Great throw, great catch, 26 yards. Paul Milan is right back on the field, so he only sat out a couple of plays. Third and three. Hill with a clean pocket. Easy pitch and catch. Jarvis Davenport. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Six yards, Hill to Davenport. Opportunities to work the red zone. Another explosive one there for the Turks. Three for three on third down conversions leading to that long drive as Dre Brown finds a little bit of a gap across the 30 and spinning his way past the 35. Good block from a freshman wide receiver. Reggie Corbin. He's trapped in the backfield as we go to Chicago and join Mike Hall for a BTN update. Of seven for six yards so far, although he has had a couple of drops from his receivers. This time it's complete and he's going to get the first down. Out of the backfield, it's Corbin. And all the way inside the 40 of the Maryland Terrapins. To the sideline and lets the guys up front know what's going on. Moves out, fires wide open. First down. Ricky Smalling with a nice move, a nice spin to take it inside the 10. Davenport knew it. Went right to the sideline after the drop. Javon Lee. What a hole! Well, the drop may not matter because on the very next play, Javon Lee goes 64 yards to the house. Touchdown, Maryland. So it gives you just a lot more plays to at your disposal. Well, everything's open here on second five, and it's going to be a quarterback run. But, boy, the blockers out in front got <laughs> swallowed quickly and coming up to make the tackle, Antoine Brooks. Nassim Hill, easy over the middle. All the, the way out to the Jones. 50 for Jay Sean Jones as we go back downstairs to release. Second and eight. Hill made the right decision. He pulled it just in the nick of time and got the first down with a pickup of 13. The drive here. Hill looking in, so touchdown! Jay Sean Jones! Short kick, Dre Brown. Brown bounces it outside. Pushed out right around the 50. Sports firing up. Plenty to watch. Reggie Corbin in the backfield is dropped for a loss of one. 
Off the play fake. Intercepted over the middle. So A.J. Bush, who has struggled this year with passes down the seam, gets this one picked by Antoine Richardson. But it's going to be his offense with the first go around here in the second half. Dre Brown. And a nice return in the first half, and here he's going to give Maryland pretty good field position out across the 35. Bush pumps, fires, and he's got the first down. Boy, was that needed. Three of nine now on third downs today of the Fighting Illini. And it's Davis again, but this one's going in the wrong direction. Once again, it's Trey Davis. All the way down to the 11. Hill sets up and is able to complete that great catch. Dante Davis, the true freshman with his third catch of the season. Well, they do feel like they've got four very good freshmen and wide receiver, Demas being one of them. Shows you a glimpse of the future that time. McFarland inside the 40, inside the 35, staying on his feet to pick up the first down. And then a flag on the backside here at the end. The nine. But Bush did show a little pop. He threw that 46 yards on one leg. Now he's got to roll out of the pocket again. That was a nice effort by A.J. Bush. That is the element that he adds to this offense. Northwestern with a big win today over the Badgers. Hill, long shot off play action. And he's got it. Dante Demas, the freshman we talked about last drive with a big catch, 54 yards. Two catches, 71 yards. He came in all year, two catches, 14 yards for Demas. And here's that man, Lee. And Javon Lee is in. He's got the hat trick, his third touchdown today. So this drive will start from the 21. Tunnel to Brian Cobbs, his first catch of the game, and look out. Across the 50 into Illinois territory, and the big plays continue. It's deflating for your entire roster. Blitz coming, they set up the screen, and it works pretty well. Very well into the red zone goes Tavon Jacobs. A lot of toys to play with if you're back Canada. Or do they ever? Kasim Hill throws for the end zone, wide open, touchdown. I mean, the pressure was coming. He threw it at the last second and found the Conquo, the freshman, for six points. And Northwestern, they're bumping closer to that top 25. Big hole. Look out, Reggie Corbin, foot race. And Reggie Corbin's going to win the foot race and say goodbye and hello to the end zone. 69 yards. A chance to play against Juice Williams, Jay Lehman. BTN zone, Jay Lehman. <laughs> He's James Laurinaitis. I'm Brandon Gaughan with Elise Spinnaker and Javon Lee, who's had a heck of a day. Gets out across the 40, and then a flag comes in right as he was being tackled. A flag around the 33-yard line. And Daryl Jones, both from Virginia Beach. And on the sweep, Jayshon Jones lowering the shoulder. Big contact with the safety, Sidney Brown, 14-yard gain. Get another unranked opponent next week to face Minnesota. Leak, Javon Leak, is he going to do it again? Seeing that this afternoon, his ability again 
It's been impressive throughout this season. And the offense has really vastly improved over a season ago, even though today may not be the best outing. At the last second, he's able to complete that to Stampley, and Stampley breaks free. And he stays in bounds. Touchdown, Dominic Stampley. What an effort by the sophomore from right there in Champaign, Illinois. Touchdown. 61 yards there. And they will hand it off to Aguebu. Aguebu with his first carry tonight as they get deeper onto the depth chart. They DJ Durkin met with the Board of Regents. But that was a private meeting. We don't know what's going to happen from that. But all in all, no matter what happens there, the job that Matt Cannon has done is impressive as a long pass to Stampley. And this is going to be yet another touchdown for Dominic Stampley. The last one was 61 yards. This one for 84. So they'll try to get off that quickly. Second and 33. And they will get off of that number with a nice carry. A lot of stuff to correct. Yeah, he was really surprised that they were such big underdogs. And here's a big break, a big hole. And yet another touchdown, a Conquo. We saw him with a big play earlier in the pass game. This time it's a 54-yard scamper to the end zone. So Illinois is digging deep in this well, and then they're going to hand it off to Dre Brown. That's going to break their power five best streak. You're right, good point. And that will do it. Maryland, what an offensive output. 712 yards of offense. They had 10 rushing yards in the first quarter. Quarters two through four, 421 rushing yards. Gosh.